Hi everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for Adornit, and as you may know, I am an ambassador for their Diana Markham stamp products. And I just received last week the uh, July edition of their uh, stamp club. And you know, they're a little bit behind because of manufacturing delays, but it finally did come. So if you're subscribed to the club, yours is on the way as well. Um, I will leave the link down below for the recipe stamp club if you are interested in uh, signing up. Um, again, this is the July release. So um, you would have had to subscribe already to receive this, but if there are any extras, they'll be on the website as well. So I received the main stamp, the stamp add-on, and the paper pack. So I'm going to show you what I received, and then I will show you some projects that I made. Um, as you can see for the paper pack, I already uh, dug into it. If you subscribe to the, to the paper add-on, you get two pieces of each paper of, e of each print and they're double-sided so this is the first one which I already cut into both pieces so I only have some scraps to show you but I love this one look at those cute apples and these are Diana Markham uh, illustrated papers and the back has the polka dots really nice thick cardstock the second paper has the apples some with bites out of them some slices some cores and some different color polka dots interspersed and then the back is kind of like a textured look paper good for like backgrounds and that sort of thing the next page is this really pretty plaid with reds and different shades of green and yellow all different colors of apples and then a nice red tonal stripe on the back which is great to add accents to your projects and then the last pattern is the um, the stripe so you could either use this all as one page or cut them apart and the back has this diagonal stripe and some of them are dash lines and I love the colors a little bit of blue that is added is a nice touch too and otherwise just kind of like fally late summer kind of colors so this is the paper add-on if you do subscribe to the main uh, stamp but this is the main stamp for July and it is mom's apple pie and it's a little off center just because I took it off and put it back on the carrier sheet but this is a beautiful size stamp um, if, if you've been watching me or following along the other ambassadors you know that each month you get a four by six carrier sheet with a main recipe stamp and then a couple little add-ons depending on the month so like like I said this one is mom's apple pie and it comes with the the three apples all connected it comes with the little apple seed stamp here's one singular apple like kind of like a long one it comes with the little sentiment that says you're the apple of my eye and that has a little apple on it as well this is like a little extra uh, flourish or pie crust and then it also comes with the little trail that you can add to like a bee or something so very very cute i love this time of year for crafting fall um, christmas just all kinds of holidays so this is just right up my alley i was so happy to get this one so this is the main stamp for the recipe stamp club and if you do get that one you can also purchase the stamp add-on and the add-on has just uh, different stamps in the same theme that that complement the main stamp. So this one, I really, really like these. There's a bucket of apples, and I just love those apples. They're so nice and round and cute leaves on them, and a very nicely detailed bucket as well. It's got the little dots on it to show you where to shade if you're doing, you know, um, watercoloring or alcohol ink, inking. Um, it comes with this little cup of uh, tea or cocoa or coffee with the apple on the mug and little steam lines as well. It comes with the apple slice and then these little like, it's just kind of a flourish, um, maybe put that on top of a pie or something, I'm not really sure. Um, it comes with that really, really cute pie that has a tiny apple on the top and little vents in the crust and little hearts on the pie dish. Also the little dots all around. 
Um, it also has this wagon that says Apple Harvest on it, and it's full of apples and really nice detail on the wood. These are all high quality photopolymer stamps. So if you've never worked with photopolymer before, um, they stamp really well, much better than um, acrylic or just, you know, like regular um, cheap stamps. These are nice, high quality, made in the United States. And this is my favorite one, I think. It's a little bowl of apples, and it's so detailed. It has just like a little towel, uh, you know, spilling out the from the inside of the bowl that has a really cute pattern on it as well. It's got scallops on the bowl, and it's just so adorable. I love it. And then it comes with this little apple, too, that has little dots on it. So I love this add-on set. I think it's just great, a uh, great complement to the main die set. So those are the three items in the uh, Recipe Stamp Club for July. The main, the main stamp, the add-on stamp, and the paper pack. All right, so I'll show you some projects I made. I tried to make kind of different things and, uh, you know, different ways to use the stamp. So if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, so the first one I used, this add-on stamp, the Apple Harvest Wagon. And I did some embossing, some heat embossing. So I made this little card, and this is about a, um, I think it's about a four inch card, maybe a little bit more, let me just measure it for you. Um, four and three eighths, that's right. So uh, what I did was I stamped it with some clear embossing ink, and then I sprinkled on some brown embossing powder and heat embossed it. And I used this one. This I just got recently from Frantic Stamper, and I wanted to try it out. So as you could see, it uh, embossed really nicely. You could clearly read the words, which is always nice. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to do when you're heat embossing, though they might run together, but the stamped nice and clearly. And after I heat embossed it, uh, I colored it with some alcohol markers, and I had fun coloring the apples. Uh, different shades of red, some golden ones with a little bit of blush on them, and some green apples as well. Um, just colored the, the uh, wagon in, and then I made some grass with alcohol ink there. Uh, for the card itself, I used, this is just some green paper for the frames from uh, AC Cardstock. The plaid is from the paper pack. So I thought that would be um, a nice complement to the Apple Harvest. Uh, picture on the inside. The die set I used, I actually just picked this up at Hobby Lobby. This is one of their uh, new clearance finds. It's a Momenta uh, set and it was reduced to 324 and it comes with all these different frames. So I used that for this card and I think it worked out perfectly. So hopefully you can find that if you're looking for a nice frame set. So, uh, so yeah, that's the front. Uh, for the background of the card, I used a Lawn Fawn fall paper, and it's got little, little leaves on it, if you could see there. So I like the soft colors of this, just very apple-y, you know. The inside, uh, I just cut a square, and then this is one of the dies from the, or sorry, stamps from the main stamp set right there and I just colored it in with alcohol markers. This one I used some uh, Tuxedo Black Memento ink to stamp it. So that's my first project. I hope you like it. I just love everything fall, so I was having a lot of fun making these projects. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one I made a tag, and this is what it looks like. Um, I used my favorite stamp that I was just talking about on the add-on right there, the bowl of apples, and I colored it with alcohol markers, and I did add a little bit of the Lawn Fawn um, like, uh, clear glaze. It's kind of like glossy accents, and I think that adds a nice touch to apples because they can be nice and shiny. I used a uh, tag set that's in my stash, and I distressed the edges with some Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. Um, You're the Apple of My Eye is also a stamp set from the um, from the main stamp, and that comes with. I, I love that it comes with this. So I stamped that and then used a smaller nesting die of the of this tag set to cut this out as well. I used Memento Tuxedo Black for both of them and used that vintage photo again on the edges. And then these are from a uh, Lawn Fawn die set, which I did bring over in case you're interested. I love this set because it has lots of different stitch leaves, 
which is aptly what it's called, stitch leaves. So yeah, I just tied it together with some twine and I think this is a super cute tag. This would be great to put on like a teacher gift or, or anything for the fall would be really fun, I think. So actually apples can go year round, especially if you're giving it to a teacher. So I, uh, yeah, that's my second project. I hope you like it. I, I love this bowl of apples, I just love it. All right, so that's my second one. The third project I have is another tag, and this one I did some heat embossing as well with that same brown embossing powder. So this is it, and this is also from the add-on set right there. And as you can see, the detail is beautiful. I'll, all I did was shade it a little bit with different color alcohol markers, but uh, a lot of the shading I always say is done for you because Diana puts those little dots in to show you where the shading should go. So uh, it's a really nice touch. It makes it much easier to color. And for the apples, I did the same thing I did with the ones on the inside of the card. I just kind of, you know, mixed different colors of alcohol markers to make it look like a nice, like pinky golden red apple maybe like a pink lady or something. I fussy cut this, which was very simple to do. This tag die is from KS Craft. It was from their December release, I believe. And I used some tiny gingham paper for that because I think gingham goes really well with apples. These are some more leaves from that Lawn Fawn set. Autumn Greetings is a stamp from something I got recently. This is a Darcy set. And I got this from Frantic Stamper. It's called, oh, what's this one called? I think it's just Autumn Greetings, pretty sure. So, but that's a number in case you want to find it. But uh, I thought that went perfectly on here. I used some Nouveau Drops and this color is called Rudolph's Nose, I believe. And added some pearl cotton on the top just to add a little texture to it. And yeah, there it is. Isn't that a cute tag? I just backed it with a piece of craft paper, cut it out of the same die, and glued it on the back for some stability. And yeah, so another apple project, another tag, but can't go wrong with apples in the fall for sure. All right, so let me, I have one more bigger project, but let me show you some of the smaller ones that I did stamp out, but I haven't really gotten to making projects with them. For the, for this, this cup of tea or hot cocoa, whatever, I did make, I did stamp it out and I added a, a little stamp, you're my cup of tea. This I got from Impression Obsession. So I did color it up and I used like a, a, like a dark teal color for the mug and just, you know, different alcohol markers. And I'm probably gonna make this, I'm not sure actually, either a card front or a tag. So I thought I would just leave it like this for now and work on it when I can think of something exactly what I wanna do with it. And I just stamped this out uh, again too while I had it. So that's the another one of the add-on stamps. And let's see, I did stamp out the tall apple and I did cut it out, but I haven't used it in a project yet. That comes from the main stamp set right there. And do I have another one? Yes, I did stamp out the, uh, the apple with the dots all over it. And I'm thinking it would be really cute to put like stickles on there. I just haven't figured out what to use it for, but I wanted to show you that it was all done. And all right, let me move on to the last project. Okay, the last project I used the main recipe stamp. And this is gonna be a page in my recipe album. So I'm making a page in my recipe album with each month's main recipe stamp. So my book looks like this. And so far I have the chocolate chip one, the fruit salad, and the honey bun cake was the last one I did for June. So for July, I made an apple one. So this is it, and it's mom's apple pie. Uh, I use the different papers that are in the in this release. Um, I really like this one in the background. I think I mentioned that when I first showed you the papers. And I thought that the apples made a really nice border to put another piece of paper on the inside. So I used that polka dot one that also comes with the collection. And um, for the 
apple pie itself, I fussy cut it. Well, first I colored it and then I fussy cut it. I used a few different uh, alcohol markers, which was very simple to do. And then uh, after I fussy cut it, I added some glue and then some like sugary looking glitter. So it would look like there was sugar on the top of an apple pie. And I also put that like in the crust area as well. Um, I did stamp out that apple slice, which comes on the, no, that comes on the add-on set. And fussy cut that and just put that next to the, the pie pan. Uh, this is a stamp or a die set that I had in my stash. I just wanted kind of a background, not really, I didn't want it to be a doily, like a really involved doily because I thought that would be too busy. So I thought this one kind of like played off the polka dots on the background, so I used that. And then I just added a white circle behind it just so you could see the, the uh, polka dots a little bit better. And I did pop it up a little bit on some foam tape, but I don't want to make it too, too high because, um, you know, this is going to go in my recipe album. I added some trim from Hobby Lobby on the inset, and then I fussy cut some apples from the uh, paper pack and then just uh, glued them to each of the corners. I like how they look, and also they hide the seams of the, of the trim. So let's go ahead and add this. I don't have the correct size um, insert here, but I do have one. So I thought we, I could you know, just show you how this works. Um, and we could do it together. So this is a snap book from Simple Stories. So um, you can open it and close it as much as you want. Actually, okay. So you have to move the, the sliders off of the prongs so it makes it removable. And then you just pull the back part, the back plate off. And then once you do that, you can take the cover off, remove any pages, add any pages. So I'm gonna take out the ones that have dividers in them because I don't plan to use them for this recipe book. I'll save them for another project. See, these have a dividers. So I'm gonna take those off. And I have this spare pack of six by eight pocket pages. So I'm gonna take one of those and add it to my book. Actually, I should just add a bunch of them, right? Yeah, let's do that. I actually don't know why this one was out of the package. I probably was just showing, showing them in a video and forgot to put it back. So these are all the extras. So I'm just going to add them now. Might as well, right? So they're here when I need, need them. Let's see if I can add them all at once. Yep. So I've got them on. I'm going to add the back cover back on. And then you take the back plate, put the prongs through, and then they're bendable. So you can go ahead and bend them down, slide the um, lock thingies back on. And there you go. So now I have a bunch more pages. So let's move on to July. So here's mom's apple pie. And this recipe actually looks really good. I make apple pie at least once or twice a year. I mean, not that much, but um, yeah, I might try this one. This has lemon juice. I never add lemon juice to mine. I'm sure that would be good to, you know, keep the apples from turning brown. It's got cinnamon and nutmeg. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try this. These recipes all look delicious. And I must confess, I haven't made any of them yet, but I'm hoping to get to them. Okay, so the six by eight page slides right in. And there it is, my July page of my recipe book. So I think this is coming along really nicely. I like each one better than the one before. So yeah, those are my projects for this month for Adorn It and the Diana Markham July release of the Recipe Stamp Club. I'll put the links down below in case you are interested in signing up for the club. Uh, again, this was July, so you're not able to get this in the, um, in the club anymore, but if they have any extras, they will put them on the website that you can order a la carte. All right, so make sure you follow the other ambassadors, ambassadors too. They will have 
great projects, um, I'm sure, that always inspire me. There's Marilyn, Cynthia, Dee, and of course, Jill. So hi, ladies, if you're watching, and hi, and thank you to everybody who's watched this video. I really appreciate all your support. If you have any questions about anything I showed, please let me know, I'd be happy to answer it for you. For now, have a great day, and I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care, everybody, bye.